Yo, what's going on guys? Flames in here and today I'll be doing some technical analysis and also a price prediction on Zill or Zillica. Before we get into it, if you could leave a like, subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. Also, if you'd like to join my Discord and Telegram in the link in the description, it's just general crypto discussions and I'll also be posting every trade that I make every single day. And lastly, if you would like to make up to $250 for free in Bitcoin, just join the BlockFi link in the description as well. Now just sit back and enjoy. Okay, so starting off here on trading view, and we'll look over at BTC here really quickly. We'll drop back over to the daily as well. As you can see, we did get a nice breakout of this downtrend that we did have, and then we actually did come down and test that perfectly and hold it as support. If we drop even back here to the four hour, as you can see, I did enter along uh, $30,300. I was hoping that this level would hold. I stuck my stop loss just down at this POC. Thankfully, we didn't get stopped out and we are beginning to move up towards my entry point again. Now our 8 EMA is resistance there, but we are holding our 50 moving average as support. So hopefully we can move up here, flip this to support, and then the next level that we need to be testing is that upper range that we have been sort of rejecting off there for ages. Hopefully we do manage to get the breakout, hold that as support, and then we can move on up, giving us a higher low compared to back here, and then a higher high compared to here. Obviously we did push up and reject off that 200 moving average here in the four hour pretty heavily, which did push us the whole way down to the bottom end of our Bollinger Band. Now, if you are looking to place yourself some buy orders on BTC, you could wait for maybe even a rejection off the 8 EMA, coming back down towards here, and you could place some bids at around $29,500. But if you do see us manage to lose this lower trend line, then it is most likely that we will come down and test this lower range at around $28,700. So you could ladder your buy orders down to around there. Now I will move on over here to Zill, take a look at this, do some technical analysis on it, and then I will also give you a price prediction as well towards the end. Now, dropping back to the daily, we'll take a look at some of our moving averages. So as you can see, we're sort of playing in and around the 8 EMA and that 20 moving average. So if we do manage to get that daily close above, Hopefully we can flip this horizontal resistance back to support at around 5.4 cents there. If we do manage to do so, we could easily be coming up and testing this upper end of this falling wedge that we do have here. Obviously I've talked about it a good bit on the channel. We did get a nice deviation to the upside there. Everyone was calling for new all time highs, but I was telling everyone to please take profits because this move is not sustainable. And as you can see, we pretty much returned the whole way to our entry point. Now in that last video, I was telling you to place some buy orders around this red box, laddered the whole way down there to the bottom end of the falling wedge. Fortunately or unfortunately, whichever way you're looking at it, if you wanted to pick up some cheaper bids there, unfortunately you didn't. But thankfully we did actually manage to hold this low here. You would have got yourself filled and if you did do that, you would have got yourself around a 26% move there to that high and then to current prices you would still be up around 8%. So congratulations if you did take that trade that I did mention in that previous video. You are in some nice profit right now, which is what you love to see. Now, even if we drag this trend line out a little more, as you can see, we did come back down and test that as well. And it has held the support, which was confluent with this level. So hopefully we can hold that higher low compared to back here, move on up here, make a higher high, maybe flipping this level to support, giving us another higher low, and then we can tackle that 200 moving average here on the 4 hour. Now, if you are looking to place yourself some buy orders on this, I would say same sort of thing as last time. You could be laddering your buy orders from around 4.7 cents down there to around that 2.1 cents mark. Now, I'm not saying this will happen. It's just a few levels that I have marked up here. If we do continue to the downside, it really does depend on BTC and then the rest of the traditional markets. So we will now move over to the BTC pair and I'll show you where you can place some buy orders with your sats. Uh, taking a look at this. I did say in that last video to have some buy orders at around here, 152 sats. Unfortunately, that did not hit. We did just fall just slightly above that. We did manage to hold this level of support and then we did get a move up. So you could even bring your buy orders up towards this low here, as you can see. It's pretty solid support. We tested it as resistance twice here, held it as support, support there another two times with wicks. Then we did get another nice bounce off this level and continue on up towards our 190 sats there pretty much. So you could take a look at this, place some buy orders at around 160 sats there. Hopefully we do come back, test this level and then can continue on up. But if you do see us come down to here, there isn't that much buying pressure and we do manage to get that bearish retest, then these other levels would be good places to place some buy orders. Now, even if you're working in lower time frames here, we can do this. And if you even ran a fib from this bottom up towards that top, we are currently below that 618. Let's have a look at the 786. I'd say we're pretty close to that right now. 
786. Let me take a look at that. Yeah, we are currently holding that level as support. So you could be placed another couple of buy orders, maybe on 167 sats. If you do think that would hold, that is also confident with that 200 moving average there on the 1R. But if we do manage to come down here, get that bearish retest, then I would say it's most likely that we will be falling to around 160 sats. Now we'll move on up here and we'll do a price prediction on Zilliqa. And obviously this does depend on BTC, as I did mention. If we do manage to start pushing up, the trend does reverse and we do start to get bullish. Obviously the same with the rest of the market, like the Dow Jones, NASDAQ, S&P 500. We do want to see those pumping as well. They are a little bit in the red today. Hopefully we can't see those turn around. If we take a look at the S&P, we did get a nice bounce there off those lows. We have been holding higher highs and higher lows. So hopefully we do continue that structure. Although we have had a slight deviation to the upside of this horizontal and we have fallen down and got that bearish retest. So we could easily be coming down and testing this level on the S&P. Just keep your eye on that and see what we actually do. But if we do manage the bottom out, BTC does manage to push up towards new highs. Then I would say that altcoins will be going absolutely parabolic. We will be getting that alt season that everyone has been begging for. And there will be some crazy gains to be made. This is definitely not a time in the market that you want to be leaving. Bull markets make you rich, but bear markets make you wealthy. Having a look at this, if we do take our fib here and run it from this previous high all the way down to our low there that we did make there back in February. And as I said, this does depend on the rest of the market. If we can start grinding up through these resistance levels, flipping them to support, revisit these previous highs at 25 cents, get up towards this level, flip that to support and get into price discovery. Then I would say that this 1.618, which is sitting just shy of that 40 cents mark, could easily be hit if the market does continue bullish. Now, this may sound crazy to you, but we will take our calculators out here and see what sort of money it does take us to get there. I'm not saying this is certain to happen. I'm not giving you financial advice here. I'm just saying if traditional markets does manage to bottom out, tech starts mooning, then obviously I do think that crypto will follow. So we'll go 40 cents there. We'll round it up and we'll divide that by our current price, which is 0.0. 5069 and that would actually give us a 7.89x there from our current prices for us to see that 40 cent zilliqa now if we move over here to coin market cap and uh, take a quick look at this we'll go zil take a look at the tokenomics here so we're sitting at rank number 71 we're just above five cents there we're down 5.78 percent in the last 24 hours our market cap is 652 million our circulating supply is 12.86 billion and that is 61 percent there of our max supply which is 21 billion. Now if we move down here, I did just show you our all-time high. It's sitting at around 25 cents. Um, yeah, there you go, which was May 6th around a year ago, and we're currently down 80.18% from then. Now if you do want to do a small read, you can have a read through coin market caps right up here. Just pause the video. Or if you would like to do a little bit more fundamental research, you can visit their website, which is zillica.com. Now I'm moving back over to here. If we do multiply this by our market cap, that's multiplied by 652,117,903. And that would actually give us a $5.1 billion market cap for that 40 cent silica. Now, if we move over here and see where that would put us on the ranks, 5.145. So that would put you, why is Avalanche and Shiba not loading? Let me refresh this here. Okay, there you go. We'd be sitting just below Shiba there moving Matic out of 17th position. And as I've mentioned many times on the channel, if the cycle does manage to continue, we do flip bullish again. BTC manages to push up towards new highs. There's gonna be so much FOMO and new money just pouring into this total market cap that I would honestly say that this could easily be pushed out towards the top 25 and maybe even higher. And if you do understand the fundamentals that Zilliqa has, you know that it could easily be pushing up towards these ranks, bringing it up towards that 40 cents mark valuing us at around a 5.15 billion dollar market cap i hope that's what you wanted to hear if you did enjoy please leave a like comment subscribe and turn on those notifications